There's a long answer, there's a short answer. First, just let me say this. There's obviously eBay, there's Macari, there's Poshmark, there's Depop, there's Grailed, and I think I'm missing one. I have a question here from Ronnie. He says, hey, had a question. I just sold a Mr. Coffee tea maker. New in box, can I ship it as is, or do I need to put it in another box? So, I suppose you could, but I wouldn't. Uh, if I remember correctly, you know, coffee makers, those boxes are pretty flimsy as it is. Now, they may be put in some kind of uh, packaging that makes it fairly secure, but I would definitely not take a chance on that. Some things, if they're packaged really well, I could see putting into a heavy-duty construction bag and shipping it off. But I would say no to that one. I would definitely put it in another box. And there's a couple things you have to keep in mind. Maybe not right now, but more than likely at Christmas time, stuff's given away as a gift. And you don't want things showing up on somebody's front porch as they are. So that is a definite no. I would not ship that Mr. Coffee Maker in its box. I would find a box for it. So I hope that helps. I mean, you can't beat this. Y'all cannot beat it. It's 7.35, I hear the birds chirping, the breeze is blowing, and I get to answer some questions on my computer. But, I also have Reagan in here. I mean, look at this, y'all. Look at this. She's over here doing some pictures. I mean, is this not perfect? Awesome. All right, here is the question from Kimberly Porter. Kevin, are there antique malls where your booths are closed? And, uh, well, how are they working out the rent? So, the answer is yes, they are closed. And they are working out the rent by just simply prorating it to the days they were open. So I think it was exactly two-thirds of the month. So we'll pay two-thirds of our typical rent. And it'll be a slow, you know, the last few days before they closed down, they were doing no business hardly at all. So it's not going to be a great month for sure. But we'll make a little bit of money. All right, this is a question that only makes sense if you watch the Commonwealth Picker channel. I have to ask, turkey feet, question mark, lol. So, it's a long story, I'll make it really short. I bought some turkey fans, which are feathers, it's basically a, a wall mount of a turkey, except you don't really mount the turkey, you just mount the feathers, because you eat the turkey. And they had turkey feet attached to them, gave the turkey fans to somebody who might like them, and they didn't want the feet, and I thought, hmm, I bet you they'll sell on eBay. And they sure did, $15 free shipping. So I made my money back on the investment, plus I got to give it away. And I made about five bucks each. I have two sets. I still have one more, believe it or not. Question from Irene, and it's about the homeschool hustlers. Do they each get a dollar, or do they split the money? So, depends on the sale and who does the video. If the sale is enough to get them a dollar a piece and to do all that, then they both get to have it. If not, I just ask one of them to come down and do the video <laughs> and they don't get to split it. Hey, we have a question from Steven. Steven says, where do you get the music from without violating YouTube's rules and demonetizing the video? So Steven, actually this one's pretty simple. I get all of the music that I use on my videos, I get it all from YouTube itself. And I double check to make sure because even some of the YouTube music you have to give credit to some folks. So I just get the stuff that's free and uh, easy. A lot of it's pretty bad, to be honest with you. But uh, I, th I hope I found a few that are decent anyway. So thanks for the question. All right, we have a question from Ben Blair. The question is, is Macari a better place to sell clothing items? So there's a long answer. There's a short answer. First, just let me say this. There's obviously eBay. There's Macari. There's Poshmark. There's Depop, there's Grailed, and I think I'm missing one. Anyway, you get the picture. There's all kinds of different places. And so each one has its niche. Each one is better to sell particular items, in my opinion. However, unless you're going to have one of, that, one of the programs that is going to multi-list for you on all kinds of different platforms, which most people don't do, unless you're really serious about this, unless you're going to do that, I think your best bet is eBay. Now, if you're selling one particular type of clothing and that's pretty much it and you're staying away from vintage or something like that, then maybe Poshmark's your best answer. 
Um, Macari does sell clothing. I, I would probably say if you are interested in doing a lot of clothing sell selling, I think Poshmark is your answer if that is your main strategy. I hate Poshmark, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I don't have the time to do it. So my wife does a little Poshmark. I do a little Macari. I haven't actually done it in a while. eBay sales have just been so good that I'm just like, forget it. Let's just focus here. Plus, I'm a little bit uh, busy with YouTube. So that's my best answer for you. Uh, if anybody wants to disagree with me, help Ben out in the comments below. We appreciate it. All right, here's a question from Trumente. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, my apologies. What do you use as far as a camera and to turn the footage into a video for YouTube? It says, thanks in advance. God bless. And he is risen. So this is Easter. So he is risen indeed. At any rate, here is the question, or the, in regards to the question, I should say, you would be surprised that I use, I'm using right now, this is a iPhone. It's an iPhone 7. <laughs> That's what I'm using. Um, a lot of times I'll use a GoPro. Uh, certainly when I'm out doing garage sales, I'm using GoPro. And uh, a little tougher process with the GoPro. It's a little easier with the phone because I edit on my phone, which is also not normal. And I do all of it on my phone. Absolutely everything on my phone. So, And the, the app is called Splice. That's what I use. Thanks for the question. Lots of questions today. Every time I sit down and type, I'm, you know, sometimes doing these questions, I got to do them from different places at different times, and I don't have the right stuff with me to do them. So I'm just knocking a bunch out today here. So Posh Bird, and she says, what is the square footage of the cabin? It is 12 by 24. That's what we've got right there. You can do the math. I'm a history teacher. This question is from Chris. He said, did you ever find that car's vehicle that you lost? Sorry to say, the answer is no. Got a question from Joey here, and Joey says, I was going through your links, he means affiliate links at the bottom of the videos, to order some shipping supplies, which first of all, thank you very much. It's very, very kind of you when anybody does that. It's not a lot of money, but you know what? Enough people do it that it turns out to be some real money at the end of the month, so it's very kind, so thanks so much. And he says, notice that the link for the tidy pen can give you can you give us a demo or tell us how well it works at removing labels so thanks so much so here's the deal so to me it's not really about removing the label i'll use one of these hold on i'll use one of these guys right here to remove the labels and we just kind of peel scotty peelers i think there's a link to these too and then you have the gunk on it afterwards there's all kinds of things that you can remove it with but i like these but I got these really cheap, so I'm not even sure how much that link is. It might be kind of price prohibitive, so you got to check out the price. And what you do, basically, let me use a cup for it. I don't have a label real quick. You kind of push down on it. That light's kind of bright. You push down like this just three or four times, and then it gets it real wet. And then you just kind of scrub it off like a pin. I usually do that, and then I let it sit for like 10, 10, 10 15 seconds or so. And then I wipe it off. So that's what, that's what I use it for. I use it pretty often but like i said i got a box of these for free so that was kind of nice so at any rate thanks for the question and i hope that answers it for you so i got a question from the old man picks he says what are you doing as far as heat and ac in the commonwealth cabin uh, i haven't seen you mention this so let me just uh show you let me push back over here so here is my little heater and it's cold in here right now i just bumped it up to 76 um, just to keep it running, it's actually about 65 in here right now. Now this whole place is insulated, so it keeps heat in pretty good, and it stays cool for a decent amount of the day. Here's the other thing we're going to run. We're going to run this AC out of the back window. So, anyway, rate, hope that answers your question. I got a question from Matthew. He asked me about some gold jewelry. And he says, do you, did you know you were buying gold jewelry at the garage sale or did you buy a lot of jewelry and dig through it and find the gold? So I bought that piece of gold itself. Actually, there was two of them in that lot. So I knew what I was buying. I had uh, had a chance to look at it. I had a magnifying glass with me and a little magnet and, uh, and knew what it was before I bought it. So hopefully that answers your question. I <laughs> got a question here. Does your shed smell like a thrift store? Um, no, it doesn't. Not yet. 
I don't think it will. Clothes are usually kind of what drives that smell more than anything. And most of the things that I have in here are actually garage sale items anyway. So my shed doesn't sell, smell like a uh, thrift store and my eBay cave doesn't smell like a thrift store either. Hey, just want to say thanks for all the questions. You know, I don't often get to know you as well as you get to know me. And one way I get to know you a little bit is through comments and through questions. So feel free to ask any question you want. Feel free to ask almost any question you want and I'll try to get to it. And we appreciate you and we hope you're doing well. And we'll see you next Friday on another Q&A. See you next time.